to allocate more than what the agency is requesting. While other agencies will request for an amount, then they will now reduce the amount and give them a little amount. I don't know what the ministry is looking at, but I feel there are a lot of issues which include corruption in the process. But while some ministers and heads of government parastatals have come to defend their budgets, some ministers have not. As a result from the meetings with the MDAs, we showed that a lot of, still a few number of ministers and chief executives have not come before to make their budget defense. And we're only going to give them today and tomorrow to do that. Any minister or CEO or head of the uh, agency that does not do that by Friday, we're not going to keep this open and hold the whole country because of a few people. The Senate president announced that the leadership of the Senate would be meeting with acting president Yemi Oshibajo to clear the discrepancies in the 2017 budget. The Senate has set a target of the middle of March to pass the 2017 budget. But with a budget fraught with what has been described as frivolous and suspicious items, it is not clear if the Senate, and indeed the National Assembly, would meet this target. Now let's take a look at some of what the lawmakers in the House of Representatives were able to consider in plenary. Some of the issues that came up during the week in the House of Representatives include a letter from the acting president, Yemi Shimbajo, who was written to the Speaker of the House of Representatives seeking approval for the issuance of $500 million euro bond to fund the 2016 budget. According to the letter, which was read by the Speaker during plenary, the executive plans to issue the euro bond in the international capital market between February and March 2017 in order to meet government's approved capital expenditure funding plan in the 2016 budget. According to the letter, the government still has room to access further international funds and the Debt Management Office is working to secure the best terms and conditions for the country. Right Honourable Speaker, I wish to note that in line with the requirement of securities issuance in the ICM, a specific resolution of the National Assembly as a firm confirmation of the approval of the legislature for the federal government of Nigeria, FGN, to borrow the USD 500 million through the issuance of Eurobond instrument in the international capital market is required. The right Honourable Speaker and Honourable Members may wish to note that the proceeds of the Eurobond are to be used as funding sources to finance the budget deficit, including capital expenditure projects as specified in the 2016 Appropriation Act. Accordingly, right Honourable Speaker, the Honourable Members are requested to kindly approve by resolution of the National Assembly the issuance of USD 500 million euro bond in the international capital market for the funding of the budget. Given that the implementation of the 2016 budget is still ongoing, we plan to issue the euro bond between February and March 2017, subject to market conditions in order to meet the government's approved capital expenditure funding plan. In view of this, your timely response will be most appreciated in order to facilitate the prompt completion of the Eurobond issuance. And the House has mandated a joint committee to investigate the scarcity and incessant hike in the price of liquefied petroleum gas in the country. In a motion presented by Rep. Sargius Ogun and unanimously supported by lawmakers, the House noted the incessant hike in the price of the product. The lawmaker told the House that citizens may be forced to adopt alternative but less healthy methods of cooking if nothing is done. The House Committees on Gas Resources and Petroleum Downstream is to investigate the matter and has six weeks to submit its report. The House notes that the gas is sold to marketers and paid for in Naira. Unlike other petroleum products which are priced in United States dollars and are therefore subject to foreign exchange fluctuations which sometimes affect the supply and availability of the products. The House is also informed that in 2016, the price of 12.5 kg of the gas increased from 2,700 to between 3,500 and 4,000 naira. 
depending on the vendor and the same quantity of the product, is currently selling for between 5,000 Naira to 6,000 Naira. The House is worried that lack of information as to the exact reason for the constant scarcity and hike in the price of the product does not bode well for, na for the nation as it gives the impression that the sector is completely unregulated and that citizens are at the mercy of the players in the liquefied petroleum gas, that's cooking gas industry. The House is concerned that if the reasons for the incessant hike in price and the scarcity of gas which is locally produced without any foreign exchange component is not investigated, the citizens will further be impoverished by the exorbitant price or be forced to adopt alternative but less healthy methods of cooking. Members of the House of Representatives have condemned attacks on Nigerian citizens living in South Africa by mobs in that country. Considering a motion of urgent public importance sponsored by Rep. Rita Oji, the lawmakers resolved that the Nigerian government and the National Assembly send a high-power delegation to the government of South Africa with a strongly worded letter reminding them of the consequences of the attacks and the likely resultant repercussions. The delegation is also to assure citizens in South Africa that the Nigerian government is well positioned to defend the rights of Nigerians overseas. The House further knows that in the last 10 days, Violence has broken out in Pretoria West, Resentville and other districts where residents looted and set homes of foreigners and Nigerians on fire. The House is aware that at least 10 houses belonging to mostly Nigerians were set alight between the hours of 8 a.m. and 12 noon and their various residents looted. The House is disturbed that these particular attacks targeted at Nigerians, whom they accuse of several crimes, including prostitution and drug peddling. Most attempts were executed without the intervention of law enforcement agencies. The House is worried that if left unchecked, these attacks can spring into deadly conflict, whereby Nigerians could likely arm themselves for self-defense and giving to the sitting of the anarchy.